Hi all. So in this particular session, we will summarize what we have seen till now, the first four lectures. More than a summary, this is actually a comparison of BJT, MOSFET and IGBT as mentioned in your syllabus. So this actually gives the circuit symbol. So you should be aware how they are different. So this is MOSFET, gate source and drain is there, BJT collector base and emitter and IGBT also collector base and emitter. So the difference in circuit should simple should be clear for you. So we have already seen that. Okay. Yeah. So, and also you can see that MOSFET plus PG, BJT is forming the IGBT. So now let's see uh, the things in detail. So uh, we have the parameters here, then IGBT and MOSFET. So terminals are, you know, collector, emitter, and gate for IGBT, and source, drain, gate, and body for MOSFET, you study. Then electrons and holes, both are charge carriers in IGBT, whereas in MOSFET, electrons are the major conductors. So we have seen that. So IGBT has a PN junction. MOSFET does not have a PN junction, remember that. Then it has a lower switching frequency, and MOSFET, the switching frequency is very high. Then it is highly tolerant to electrostatic discharge and electrostatic discharge may be harmful to the metal oxide layer. We have SiO2 layer in MOSFET, right? And now let's see the, some critical parameters like voltage rating for bipolar junction transistor. This is BJT only, junction transistor. Transistor that is the BJT. So voltage rating is usually less than one kilowatt for BJT and MOSFET. So when combined, we have more than one kilowatt voltage rating for IGBT. And current rating is less than 500 for MOSFET is even less than 200. For IGBT is the superior one. Then input drive current, input impedance, how they are varying is high for IGBT. Then output impedance then speed, then cost also it is very high for IGBT. Then mostly we go for MOSFET because of the medium cost and the favorable properties. And then we have PJT also. And now we will see a bit more in detail the differences. So BJT is a bipolar device and MOSFET is a majority carrier device and IGBT is a bipolar device and very important. BJT is current control, MOSFET is voltage control, and IGBT is also voltage control. Remember that. And temperature coefficient of on state resistance is negative for BJT, MOSFET positive, IGBT, because we have seen all these things in detail. And application is another important area. BJT we use in inverters, choppers, UPS, then DC motor drives. Uh, for MOSFET and IGBT also, so like because wherever we need a superior current or voltage rating, we choose that based on the current rating, we choose that here, BJT 1200 volt to 800 ampere, MOSFET is 500 volt to 140 ampere, and IGBT is 1200 volt to 500 ampere. And switching losses is high for BJT, MOSFET low, and IGBT very, very low. You have, we have seen the switching carrier of all the three switches. BJT we haven't seen in detail, but still. Okay, and switching frequency also very important. BJT we can see 20 to 20, 10 to 20 kilohertz, MOSFET up to one megahertz and 50 kilohertz for IGBT. Okay, so I hope uh, like you have a better idea of what these switches are for and when we use these switches, like power MOSFET, power BJT, power IGBT or simply IGBT also. You can say. So I hope that the introductory section of power electronics, where we have studied about power diode, then MOSFET. Okay, that's power MOSFET only. Then BJT. Not in detail, but I have mentioned BJT also. Then IGBT. So I think this much is clear for you. So you should be very familiar about the structure, working, VI comma, transfer carrier, voltage rating, then applications, and then one more thing, switching carrier. Switching carrier and 
of course, the circuit diagrams. Circuit diagrams and then the circuit symbols. Circuit symbols. So all these things should be known in detail. So next class, we will study wide band bandwidth materials like silicon carbide, gallium nitrate, right? Principles of wide band gap devices. Next class, wide band gap devices. Thank you.